The majority of outbreaks have been in cities, but new cases are popping up in rural Minnesota every day, adding to the strain on small town hospitals where we discovered many don't even have intensive care beds. Lauren Lemanchek investigates. Minnesota's rural hospitals have long been stretched thin. Now they could be on the front lines of the fight against the coronavirus. That lack of resources in many of our rural counties will become a problem uh, as this wave you know, hits uh, harder. Dr. George Morris is helping manage CentraCare's response. They operate six hospitals, most in rural counties. Sharing resources is key, especially if a doctor gets sick. If you have a small town hospital with, we'll say, three physicians, you know, maybe 20 nurses, and if half of them go out, it, we, we will not be able to respond in this crisis. You know, so our approach has been, uh, what can we do to help train people up quickly or move people around? The National Rural Health Association says the rural health care safety net was fragile. Now it's being crippled by COVID-19. Data from Kaiser Health News shows 54 Minnesota counties, those in red, don't have a single ICU bed. What happens at these hospitals that have no ICU beds? Many of them have emergency rooms that for a short time could serve that role. Then Morris says patients will have to be transported to larger hospitals. We are working on a coordinated response across the entire state. Dr. Rahul Karani of the Minnesota Hospital Association feels good about the plans. We are all hands on deck right now to prevent the surge of patients coming into the hospitals. Please stay at home if you're able to. You've heard the phrase flatten the curve. It could be especially important in rural areas. Lauren Lemanchek, CARE 11 News. And to see a county by county map of all the available ICU beds in Minnesota, check out this story on our website.